Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome. Today I thought I'd come on and we could have a little fun with paper clips. Um, I've got several little examples here that I've already made. I thought we could come on and make some together today. I've got one that's already I hooked onto a journal page, so I think they came out um, really cute. So let's go ahead and get started. Move these aside, and I'm using, I don't know if I can grab it, I'm using this um, craft paper that I have. All I did was just tore it about the size I think I need. Go ahead and make a couple. And do some decorating. around the edges and of course we don't have to tear but I like to um, oh here's a paper clip so that would help and you just slide the paper in this long solid side here so you just put that down like that fold that over and get my glue just rip some of that off. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac and just glue it right on here. Easy peasy. Okay, get my claw. So there's that. Put that off of my table. Okay, it's as simple as that to get started. And then we will just ink up the sides. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of the, um, in front of my book, the script stamp as part of the background. So there's that. And then I just have some different things here that I'm going to use. I've got these little cutouts and these. I'm just going to put them over here. These are digitals from uh, the Paper Princess. Aren't those cute little stamps? And so are these. These are just some botanical ones. And I've just got a few butterfly punches. And what else? Oh, and I'm going to use just little scraps of uh, paper. So let's just go ahead and get started. You can look line these up however you want. We can ink them or not ink them. Doesn't matter. Just whatever you want to do here. And we're just going to layer some of this up. I'm going to use my glue stick for this part. My handy dandy Scotch Create. And then you can just put these anywhere, just randomly on here. Got a page from my Greek book. I think I might use that. And what else? I've got, um, well, I've got all sorts of things in here. But let's just see what we want to put. And I think I'm just, no, I think I'm going to go that way. Just put that. And then, let's just find, now that one's a little big for this. Now here are a couple of small mushrooms. We could use one of those. I kind of like that. Just going to ink around it. So 
many different things we can use with this. But I haven't made this type of a, a paper clip. What do you call it? I'm going to call it paper clip cluster. I haven't made these in a while. So there, that's the first one. I think they're pretty cute. Put that over here. And what I've done is, since putting the paper on the clip is pretty basic, I went on and did some ahead so we could just do the fun part and decorate. This one I already inked up. I mean, uh, stamped. Most of them I didn't, but I did on that. Oh, this one will fit on there. So we can do that, or we can still put some papers. It's upside down. Under here, maybe I'll do that. Let's put this over here. Then layer up some more paper if we want. Just leave it at that. What else do we have in here? Hmm. No, I'm going to save that for something else. I might just put this on the other side. Put that right there. Boy, I almost went off the paper on that one. And I'm going to go ahead and ink this. I did mention these are from the Paper Princess, didn't I? Oh boy, what a memory. So there, there's another one. Oh, they're really cute. All right, here's one. Go ahead and ink around the sides. Oh shoot, I'm over here looking my, uh, what do you call it, my glue's getting ready to drip on my desk, so I'm going to go ahead and use that before it does. What happened? I didn't put glue at the top. Okay. There. Now, let's finish this. I just... <laughs> I just distressed the uh, paper clip. As if it would distress, right? Okay. Alrighty. It's a little scrap. So this is just another way to use up some of your little tiny scraps. Those that we sometimes wonder why on earth we even save them. But they do come in handy. I mean, you just never know, right? They're so cute. Just a little fabric tack on that one. And I think I'm even going to angle that just a wee bit. So there, there's one more. So this is another one of those simple, fun, but really cute projects. Or at least I think so. And I think I will do a little of this. 
grip stamp on it. Well, stick into the book now. Um, got this little scrap of fabric in here. Maybe I might even use that. Why not? Let's something else with this little bit of blue in it. Use that. These are definitely some tiny scraps. I guess I'm going to use a fabric tack for this. Just get a little bit on there. Now, what do we have? Oh, there's a little blue in that. Oops. What else? Ah, I've got glue on my fingers. I'm sticking to everything. Funny thing about that, huh? What else? Or we've got this really deep teal. Actually, I think I'm going to do this one. And see if I can find my blue ink. Oops, that's not it. Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. Sapphire. Use a little bit of this. Whoa. Throwing things around. Okay, do we want anything else? Why not? Let's use up some scraps. So how's everybody doing today? with the blue. Okay, there's that. Um, what are we going to want to put on here? under it. Let's see. Well, if I can pick it up, we'll be okay. Just rip that. Okay, I'm just going to ink around it a little bit, and I'm just using the vintage photo on this one up a little. Put that 
on that. are such pretty ladies. Maybe we'll angle her that way. Okay. Actually, I think this needs a little more ink. There. Alright, shall we keep going? I need a new ink pad here. A foam pad, whatever you call these things. on there without tearing it. There we go. That works. What else? What else? Do a different kind of font here. Sideways. What about that? Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Go ahead and ink this up a little bit. go back and put a little word or something. Let me see if I have anything handy here. That. Hold on. Unbury everything. My goodness. Let me just look in here real quick. What do we have? Discover, kind of like that. What else? Brains. Let me ink this up. I think we're just going to use this black background in it. Move that over. Get my glue. Or what if we put that one with it? Kind of like that. Maybe we put this somewhere else. Hmm. Already got the glue on it. Get that 
going to put the second mushroom. I think that's cute. I like these last minute decisions, right? Right when you're getting ready to glue something down. Oh, look at that big glue string. Okay. There. I think that's cute. Alrighty. Now we've got this little guy. Let's see what we're going to do with him. having the number on there, the page number. First one I picked. So there, that works. Get this on here. will be it for today. So I think they turned out really cute. What do you think? Let's just take a quick look at the ones we did. Get these over. I love this with the double mushrooms. Got her. This one's a little longer. You could really make these even bigger if you want. I think they're really adorable. That's that. And that is all of them. So I thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up if you did. Take care. Happy crafting.